Oh, we're not done. Plenty more games. A nice little two piece for you at the seven o'clock hour at 725. You got number 15 Colgate taking on Texas Longhorns 13 and a half point favorites here. And then 10 minutes later, Boise in the West region at Boise State. Number 10 taking on number seven Northwestern. Alma mater, our guy Tim Doyle getting one in a hook there later tonight. I want to bring back in Mike McClure to take a look at some of these games here, starting there with Colgate. In that matchup there, taking on Texas. And your thoughts, 15 versus two, what are you looking at? Are you looking at the over, under, the money line? What's your thoughts? Yeah, this is one where I like to look at the total here. I think there's a little edge on this number. This number's pretty big at 150 and a half. I make the number closer to 147. Uh, so I'm going to go under the total here. You know, Colgate, they're definitely outmatched in this game. Texas is going to have their way. Now, in the regular season, both teams want to play with a little tempo. Some of that, though, is a product of the conferences that they play in, the matchups that they see. Texas, they will certainly try to score in transition here, but they will also play some half-court offense. They will certainly eat clock when this game is no longer in doubt. Uh, what I'm looking for here is this Colgate team. I don't think that they can keep up offensively. I don't project them to score 70 plus points in this game. And then when you look at the free throw shooting percentages here, this team shoots just 66% from the free throw line that ranks 330th in college basketball. This is a spot where Texas grabs the early lead, pumps the brakes here, and we go under the total of 150 and a half. All right, taking the under there. Colgate also looking for their first win in a tournament play, and it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. How about that other game, Boise State taking on Northwestern there? Yeah, I love this one here. Uh, I love Boise State getting one and a half here. I think this is a great matchup for them overall. Uh, Northwestern, when you look at them offensively, their offensive unit is by far the worst unit on the floor in this basketball game. I think Boise is very underrated because of the conference that they play in here. They are solid both offensively and defensively. Perhaps the most impressive thing about Boise, though, when you look at their defensive rating, they're able to do it without fouling, which is critical when you have an offense that really can't score in Northwestern. You don't want to be bailing them out, giving them opportunities at the free throw line. Looking at Boise State, a metric I like to look at is defensive free throw rate, which is how often you're allowing opponents to get to the free throw line. They rank top 10 here, one of the best teams in the country at it. Give me Boise State here. All right, let's recap your picks a little bit here. In that first game between Colgate and Texas, taking the under of 150 and a hook, Boise State there. Taking that plus money with them out of the Mountain West, taking off Northwestern between those two games. Again, at 725, you got Colgate in Texas and Boise State in Northwestern at 735. We got more action, of course. Northern Kentucky taking on Houston. The Cougars there, the favorite there out of their bracket, the number one seed, getting 18 at 920 against the Norse there. Louisiana taking on Texas about 20 minutes later in the East region. Then Penn State and Texas A&M. The Aggies getting three in that one. And UNC Asheville taking on UCLA, getting 17 and a half. That one at 10.05, some late night action in the West region. Mike McClure still here. Want to talk about this and the Cougars in this matchup, Northern Kentucky. What are you watching between these two? What do you like in this play? Yeah, this one's not fun. It's not going to be fun to watch if you want to play this with me, but we're going under the really small number of 121 and a half. Yes, it's a low number. It's very low for a reason, though. These teams play incredibly slow. When I look at the pace of play here, Houston ranks 340th in pace of play in college basketball, and they play with the quicker tempo in this basketball game. They are completely outmatching Northern Kentucky in every way. This Northern Kentucky team, they're better defensively than they are offensively. If they have any shot in this basketball game, they know their path to victory is not trying to hang 80 points on this Houston defense. It's limiting possessions. It's an ugly game. They may not score 50 points in this one. Love the under here, 121 and a half. All right, taking the under there between the Norris and the Cougars here. How about in the East? You got Louisiana taking on Tennessee, 13 versus four. The Vols laying 11 and a half here. Yeah, I like Tennessee in this spot, honestly. There's a lot of popular trends out there to fade Rick Barnes in the NCAA tournament. Uh, I think Louisiana's getting a little too much respect here. Tennessee, there's obviously the concern. You lose your point guard, right? That's incredibly concerning. We know how important guard play is in March. I don't think it matters in this particular matchup here. Tennessee has a clear talent edge at every position. We give them a really strong rebounding edge on both ends of the floor. They're going to clamp down defensively. They're going to dictate their tempo. They're going to pull away, win this by double digits. I think this line should be 15. Taking the Vols versus the Raging Cajuns at 13 versus 4. How about in the Midwest? You got Penn State taking on Texas A&M. Thoughts on this one because it could be a little tricky here. 
Yeah, this one is incredibly tough to call. Uh, I, I think the line's mostly fair here. Um, you know, you got to respect Texas A&M and what they're able to do here. I think that they can play different styles of basketball at any given moment, more so than Penn State. I, I think that's going to be the difference in this. But I'm going to lean to the total here. I like to go under the 134 and a half, under 135. These teams are strong defensively. They play with a very slow tempo most of the time. That's what I'm projecting to see here. Uh, Penn State, one thing that they've done incredibly well, which really helps unders in college basketball, they do not foul. They rank inside of the top 15 in defensive free throw rate. That is critical when you have a spread of this margin here. I love the under in this game, under 134 and a half. All right, so you like the under in all three of those games. Maybe a little different here, maybe. West Regent, you got 15, UNC Asheville taking on number two, UCLA. The over under 135. Are you switching it up or are you going the same way in this matchup? We're heading under on this one as well here. Look, uh, it, it's not always the most fun play to sweat out, but it's the correct play in this spot. Uh, we see a ton of unders in this neutral court environment here. Games are tight, uh, defensive intensity at the highest point it will ever be all season here. Uh, looking at UCLA, though, they're, they're obviously a much better team in this spot. They prefer to play a slower half-court offensive game. They're going to clamp down. When you look at UNC Asheville, though, this team actually isn't bad defensively. That's certainly their strength. Much like that Houston matchup, though, they know that their path to victory is not hanging 70 to 80 points on UCLA. Their path to victory is limiting possessions. It's done through the defensive end. I love the under here, under 136. Mike, I'm going to start calling you low bridge, all these unders, man. But I, I get it. I understand it. I appreciate it, though. Let's recap some of your picks. Appreciate your time stopping by. Take a look at it. You got Houston in the under there, 121 and a half against Northern Kentucky. Tennessee, minus 11 there versus, you know, Raging Cages. I'll take that. Penn State and Texas A&M, the under there. And then, of course, the under following again between UCLA and UNC Asheville, that 136. Hey, don't forget... You still got time, a few minutes, a couple hours, seconds, milliseconds, something else out there. Time's I don't know. Ticking is I don't know. I'm not know. a mathematician, but you got time still to fill out those brackets and trial it and challenge all of us. And others up here like Zach, who apparently thinks he has the winning bracket. All you gotta do is get to that QR code and see what happens. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.